In the world of business, winning requires brilliant strategies, precisely honed instincts, pursed lips, and an arched eyebrow. With a crack team of MBs and a piping hot award for best single malt in the world, and an infusion of cash to upgrade Crowded Barrel, it's time to sacrifice a pawn on the way to ultimate victory. So maybe not the lifeblood of a distillery, but basically a cornerstone piece. Tasting room getting shut down. They tried to close us. Yeah. Why? <laughs> because we filed paperwork in the wrong order. Yeah. Hey. And the reasoning was they wanted to know what we were putting out in our waste, mm -hmm. which was being carted away and disposed of by a company that its only job is safe waste disposal. And we have no restrooms, so right. it's just from the bar. It's just from the bar. It doesn't go it's into like the It's like a kitchen water. sink, basically. It's in a tank that gets trucked off to a place that does this professional. Well, at first they said, stop everything. We need to know what's going into there. And so we hung up, and then uh, it occurred to me, hey, how do we measure it if we're closed? Currently, a stay of execution on the tasting room, which is great. We're not clear. It's a stay of execution. It's a stay of execution. But we do have something on the property whose time has come. Mm. We do need to shut it down. And by it, I mean this right here. This little building, this is going away. This was a thing that wasn't ours, but now it's ours. This grapes and grain. The only reason why we had this is so that all the magnificent bastards come to visit with a significant other who isn't really into whiskey. They need some stuff too. But now this is Crowded Barrel property and we're going to put in there. I have Hello. nefarious plans. Let's uh, go inside. We're going to go through the new latest schematic, the layout for the bar and alchemy. Here we go. Let's see if I can find that PDF in here. Pornhub premium. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see the bartender, you see the workspace, ice bin over here, garnish trays, your sink and your washing station. They even put in your trash cans where your trash oh, cans perfect, are. Oh, perfect, yeah. So once you get past that circular side, you've got the second bar, same thing, drain trays. There's gonna be shelving underneath to put uh, glassware and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your ice bin, your garnish station, your wash station, and then a hand wash sink. And you're, again, they're putting in another trash can and they put in that refrigerator on the backside. So it's all in here. So everybody that was previously in the Welcome Center, they got displaced, obviously, so alchemy could turn into what it's gonna turn into. So where did they go? So on our neighbor's property, on Wizard Academy property, they have Chapel Dulcinea, which is doing about a thousand weddings every single year, which is ridiculous, which means they need to have a welcome center to greet all these wedding guests that are coming to the property. Fortunately, this building, the new welcome center is about to be finished so those wedding guests can come through here and then stumble onto our side and be like, holy shit, this is the world's greatest distillery. Did you guys really freaking win best single malt whiskey in Texas? And we'll say, yes, we did. Okay, this is almost done, yeah? Yeah. All right, show us what we got. What building is this? Oh, this is gonna be the new welcome center. New Welcome Center for Wizard Academy. This building needed to happen so we can take that old building that's not on Academy property, it was on Crowded Barrel property this whole time. We could take that building and turn it into alchemy. Uh, what are we looking at? What have you guys done in here? Getting ready to put some trim on the beam. We're gonna put, make it you know, all nice and decorative. Kind of just trimming it out and finishing it up. Got the floor done, got the walls done. You got storage? Holy crap, you got storage? Alex, this single room has doubled the storage on the property. With this one room, we have doubled, oh crap, this isn't our property though. Fuck. Okay, we need more storage. There's a lot of musical chairs happening so we can get stuff out of buildings to do construction in that building. So first thing we need to do is make sure that the bottles that are being stored are being stored well. So we got a big pod for about six months. We're gonna be storing the bottles in pods, climate controlled, make sure it's really nice. So in the medium term, this is gonna be all barrel storage. We're gonna push it up against the property line between us and Wizard Academy. I'm gonna be able to dig all the way back to that rock face. Yeah. Like that. Our property line goes, what, about 40 feet back? This is all gonna be barrel storage, all down the property line. But first we gotta dig out all of this earth that's sitting on top of this, hopefully very flat limestone. If it's flat, that makes our lives a lot easier. Expanding the barrel storage. It's your fault. Thank you. <laughs> In the middle of the night, I'm 
I'm out here with Joe. He's starting on clearing the land. All right, we're ripping out those trees quick, man. Yeah, just uh, the trees, maybe a little far out, but you know. Oh yeah, this is going a lot quicker, at least for the trees. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna get some sleep. Yeah, man. Later, thank you. So like most distilleries, you have the production side of things, the barrel side of things, and you also have the side of things that most people get to experience, the tasting rooms, the bars, what we want alchemy to turn into. There's a lot of details to cover and we're in the middle of it right now. So we're in what will soon be alchemy and right now we're trying to get a sense for the space for the tables, the booze and the chairs. We have our designer out here, but he's taking measurements just to give us a general idea of what we're looking at in terms of timeline and cost. But we just now realized we're gonna to need to start taping out on the floor where we want tables, chairs, booths, the bar um, equipment, just to make sure that we're using this room as effectively as possible. So all of the new projects and developments are cool, but at the end of the day, we still are plugging away, making whiskey. And on that grind, sometimes something breaks, so we gotta dive in there and get it fixed up. Kyle's gonna show us what's going on today. Kyle, where's the agitator paddle blade thing in here? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Jump in like Mario. I can't fit in this hole. Can you fit in the hole? I don't know. Uh, who's the smallest person here? Hmm. Hey, buddy. Hey, Alex, you want me to hold the camera? Do you want me to get in there? Look at me. I'm the Alex now. You got this, buddy. How am I doing this? Just get in? We're going to hand you tools and that thing. Okay. Oh, it's like the, the, the finesse. The technique. All right, this is actually pretty sick. Goodbye. Bye. See ya. All right, turn it on. Okay. <laughs> the nuts vibrated off, fell down into the drain, and the paddle just slid off. So, I mean, we're just sliding the pedal on and putting the nuts to lock it in place. It keeps everything moving so that the whole batch, the whole pot, heats up evenly. All right, we're good. Back up and running. Yep. Making that, whiskey. That was really easy. Oh, it's down. <laughs> so one of the most exciting things that's being worked on right now is all of the plumbing things and getting the equipment hooked up that you guys allowed us to do by getting wood and laying pipe by grabbing some barrel staves. Uh, Brianna wanted to express our gratitude and she may be having second thoughts about her idea on exactly how to do that. So we have those barrel staves that uh, a lot of UMBs are buying to help us get that plumbing figured out. Brianna took it upon herself we never talked about this, we never promised this. She wanted to give a handwritten note to every single person. How's that going? Good. Oh, is it? I stand behind my decision. Yeah, it's um... I only have like 300 more to go. Yeah, so you're not halfway? Very close. <laughs> I stand behind it. <laughs> This is David Dickinson. There's a uh, there's a clip of her that I got previously a couple of days ago. Crazy. Her talking shit about someone. I'm gonna play that right now. Niles Philipson. Niles, dear Niles, your last name is dumb. I don't like the way it sounds. Appreciate you. That's the face of someone who definitely doesn't regret. I don't regret it. I don't. <laughs> episode we called upon our community to get wood lay pipe and hundreds of you guys stepped up which has been awesome so we're having an update here with Kyle Hi, Kyle. so what are we doing with all these fresh staves right here uh, they're already sanded uh, get all the splinters out we're just gonna laser our names we're going in order from the first people that bought them to the last and we're at the end of the list I've been making handwritten notes for each and every one of these too check out how swole my hand is <laughs> Oh, look at the, look at the seps on that. Yeah, oh. Thank you to all UMBs who got wood, laid pipe. Finally, we were able to set up all of the distillery equipment that we needed for plumbing, drainage, brewing, and we are excited to show you those steps in the process in the future. By the way, almost all of those staves are sold out right now. If you wanted to get one of the last few, then link in the description down below to grab yourself a stave to get wood and lay pipe and uh, push these final plumbing expenses across the finish line so we can get everything online. Get wood, lay pipe. 
This episode is sponsored by Cook, Cook Unity. Unity. Cook Unity is handcrafted meals delivered right to your door by award-winning chefs. Yeah, these are award-winning chefs. They create, they design these meals. It's new things every single week. They're coming up with new stuff for you to choose from. They've got so many different recipes to choose from. Anything for whatever diet you have. You can do keto, you can do vegetarian. Whole ethically sourced ingredients. They're very transparent about what's in each dish. Oh my gosh, they, it comes in this cute little packaging. Not frozen, they got these um, you know, cooling packets and whatnot to keep it fresh. I and got the cheesy chicken chipotle enchiladas from Chef Maribel Rivera. I got the Creole spaghetti with the andouille sausage. This is Nahika Hillary. We also got the crispy pan fried Cajun salmon by Andres, Andres Mendez. Mendez. And if you really like a meal from a specific chef, yeah. you can look at all just that chef. You can see their chef, their profile, yeah. all the recipes that they've made. How's your cheesy chicken enchiladas? Oh my God, that's so good. It's like perfect amount of spice, by the way. So with the subscription service, you can do as few as four meals a week, all the way up to 16 meals a week. And is very flexible. So mm -hmm. if you need to pause, you can pause it. You can skip weeks. You can cancel anytime. I didn't really get a good bite. Get out. Get out of here. No. 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 Nice. You got tasty, affordable, high quality ingredients. You want to try it out, where are they going? You're gonna go to cookunity.com slash whiskey tribe or use code whiskey tribe 50 at checkout for 50% off your first order. So thanks to you guys who got wood and laid pipe and bought some staves. We have the ability, the funds to upgrade the equipment. Uh, in the meantime, between here and there, we still have a relatively small scale operation and we still need to make our whiskeys, particularly that award-winning single mom, that single malt of magnificence that won best single malt whiskey in Texas. So fortunately we have really cool friends like our buddies over at Acapon who can help us. Daniel's on vacation, this is Brianna's day off. You're stuck with me, you bastards. We're gonna go pick up from Acapon. All right, we're gonna head to Dripping Springs, get this filled up with the first part of our smoked single mom. Oh, he's gonna yeet it? He's gonna yeet it over the fence? Are we just getting filled up from over the fence? Yep. Damn it, cat. Hey, it's Tommy! Hey! Hey, Tommy! I got a hose for you. Oh my god. You beast of a man. Holy shit, Tommy. <laughs> All right, Tommy's hose. The legend continues. <laughs> All right, so what are you doing, Kyle? Uh, okay, I'm not my host is host. Oh. So I gotta dock these suckers. <laughs> Try to clamp it down. Yep. Yeah. We got Tommy back there, in the back of Acapon. Is he gonna go directly from the tank? Yeah, he's in his boil kettle right now. He's in the boil kettle. So he transferred all the sugar water from the mash tun to the boil kettle. First, he's gonna run some uh, hot water and some sanitizer through these hoses. From that blue bucket all the way through to this hose, just to clean out the inside of the hose. All right, so getting ready to pump in the actual sugar water, the wort. Ready? Let's do it. Starting to change. There we go. Nice. All right, so that is pumping up, filling the tote. We got the very first bitch right there. How much are we gonna fill? Uh, we're probably gonna fill up about 125 gallons. See it? Yeah. Kyle's gonna hang out for about a half hour while that fills up. Um, heading back to Grattan Barrel for stuff, calendar full of stuff. Here we go. Ooh, immediately the smell. So we got some bubble joint ready. We picked this up earlier today. Dude, it's moving. Look at that. It's active. How long is it going to be active like this? Probably 48 hours. 48 hours, just non-stop like rolling, it's get, bubbling. It'll probably get real foamy tonight and tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's doing what it needs to do, love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the coolest things about Whiskey Tribe is we have always explored, shared, and shenaniganed as a community, uh, as a group, as a collective. It's a lot of fun. People giving recommendations, people showing off cool stuff that they're really excited about, and then just goofing around all along the way. James. James. All right, so James is very excited about the the Roasty Buds, it's supposed to be very spicy coffee. Extra insane spicy, it says. Carolina Reaper Pepper, for reasons. Is that Among Us? I don't know, we'll find out. Let's, uh, let's ruin our grinder. Don't 
look, this is the Bastard Small T-shirt design oh. that I'm working on. Oh, oh my good. God, don't look. That's what daddy likes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's James. <laughs> <laughs> what, you got a katana? Whoa. No. I've got an umbrella. Oh, oh that's cool. Well, it's got a katana handle. Now, if you pull the real blade out of that. Get out of here. What? Oh, my God. Good on you. Ready for murder. This is what it was, uh, this is what you wanted? Yeah. Why? Look at this. There's nothing more unique than uh, Carolina Reaper infused coffee beans. That is not a coffee nose. <laughs> <laughs> How you been? You feeling good? Doing all right? I'm doing good. Keeping it tight? I'm doing real good. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You slaying mad Putin? When I get the time. It's that sword that does it. It is. You whip out a novelty umbrella sword and those panties just drop. Yeah. When I get the time. But they talk. Yeah. yeah. You're busy guy. So try to be. Yeah. I think we're getting so used to the nose. I'm wondering how acclimated we're going to be to that spiciness once we get on the taste. So how are you feeling today, James? Uh, stomach issues all night. <laughs> Slaying poon, ripping ass. <laughs> your, your Slaying poon, ripping ass when I have time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this coffee, James, that you have been asking me about, diligently reminding me about. When I have time. When you have time. This is immediately spicy. Immediately, like before you taste anything coffee, it's just spice. It's like if you took the powder from a spicy chip and you dumped it on your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> it's not overwhelming to me, but I'm still getting that coffee note that makes it really appealing. Uh, Brianna, come here. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Ew, what are you doing, James? <laughs> He's going back? Ah. He's going back, this is good. Okay, this is yours, James. Congratulations. A whole bag just for you. And I will be enjoying every drop when I have time. <laughs> so in addition to the YouTube channels, the making whiskey, blending, finishing, sourcing, we also do a lot of educating. And that's what Daniel's doing right now in Crowded Barrel. He actually brought over the Bourbon Stewards, the program with Save and Thief to uh, get some training, some hands-on insight into the operations of a distillery. And with all of those things going on, sometimes <laughs> things get a little weird. Don't look at me. Judging is so hard. I have my screen, my Are keyboard, and in between, in between the screen and the keyboard, me. I have the judgment. You think you're, better than me. you're not better than me! I beat you in a foot race on the way back here. You wanna go right now? Yeah, let's go right now. You wanna go right now? Let's go right now. Right now. Let's go 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 right now. Let's Two, one, go! <laughs> That's in 4K! <laughs> it was rigged. One by a hair, oh. by cheating. What are you working Sometimes on? Sometimes you gotta let people win so you can keep your job. <laughs> First thing in the morning, Alex, clutch move, he brings the new water over from the distillery, the yeah. filtered rainwater, yeah. it's awesome, but... See, I don't even know what you're talking about. There's a spider in here, man! Spider! Where's the spider? Do you see the it's, spider? It doesn't exist. Oh. No, it's right there, it's right here. here. Right there. Oh, look at it go. He's trying to get us to drink spider water. <laughs> no. Now fix it. All right, one, two, three. Oh my god! Oh, that was clean! Whoa. You did it! Oh Where yeah, I it? see it, right there. Oh, there, yep, we got, oh, there it is! right in front of your face. <laughs> Daniel's a thief. He's a goddamn thief. Lavroig barrels? Where'd you get those barrels? You taking my barrels? You know what these are? These are Lafroig barrels. You taking Lafroig barrels? All right, now we gotta figure out what to steal from Daniel. I have an idea. Hey Daniel, I found a uh, particularly magnificent bastard here, and he brought something mostly for me. Sir, what's your name? What did you bring? Uh, David Marconet. I'm one of the original MVs from Chicago. I brought not only Longmorn 16, but the old bottling. Daniel's 
favorite whiskey ever falling into my clutches. I mean, possession. I mean, no, it's fine. We'll... <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, we just have to say thank you guys to the extent that you have stepped up. That's why any of this is here. The world's first crowdsourced whiskey distillery exists because of you. Whenever you're in South Austin, we're looking forward to meeting you. Wow, oh, it's, a, it's a horse? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>